So today we're going to be comparing the 5.7 to the what, John? Uh, 762 by 25 Tokarev. Yes. How many grain is that? Do you know? 85. Okay, and this is, I think, 40 grain. Do you know how fast they go? Around 1,200 feet per second, 12 yeah. to 14. I figured it'd be a good comparison. So you got his Tokarev here with his Gucci. Gucci. Very Gucci. And then we got the Smith West M&P I just got. And we're just going to do a uh, simple penetration test like this. The 9 millimeters never go through. Uh, so we're going to see. I don't think it will, do you? Yeah, they will. Okay, he says so. And uh, and we got some water jugs. We'll set some up at a distance. And then we'll do accuracy tests because you know how good. How good of a shot I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, you mother... <laughs> now nah, we're not too worried about accuracy because obviously we're comparing how old is this gun 1956 1956 to 2023 so we're not worried about that we're just comparing the two cartridges and then also got some other smith and wessons that we're going to compare this to to see which one is the best smith and wesson and we also got wesson here <laughs> okay whenever you're ready man so what have we got up first here uh, the old all right and we got a propane tank uh at point blank same okay go ahead yeah cool okay it almost went through we kind of hit on the crease so yeah whenever you're ready buddy ah. well, there you go it hit low there let's go yeah. check it out real quick where'd it hit hit down here but yeah it went through tiny little hole there see them aren't ap rounds they're just I don't know if you can say that went through. That, I don't Dude, know. yeah. Okay, went through, didn't go through. Big uh, difference. I uh, could see it right here. Barely. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Doesn't it matter. matter. It matters. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's a 50 BMG. <laughs> All right, well, let's try again. Try your gun right there. All right. All right he's going to try it again whenever you're ready, bada. Definitely hits harder, though. Yeah. Okay, he got a good, real good shot on it. Definitely has more hit power, but did not penetrate. See, this metal is like, it's really like flexible. It's kind of weird. It's just pistols. It just bends. But we'll you, try with a 5.7 right there again. You need to do this, not this. Let's see. He knows. Whenever you're ready. Okay. He has the stance. He's good. Well, that was a perfect shot, man. It looked like something bounced back, too. Huh? It, huh? <laughs> it looked like something might have bounced back, like it fell. No, that penetrated. No, nah, almost. I seen like when you hit something, went boom, right down there. Oh. They cracked it though. But you can tell it just does not hit near as hard though. No. But it just barely daylight. All right, we'll get some books set up and try them. Okay, we got a very scary, sketchy piece of glass there, and John's gonna. You know why it's so scary? Someone's definitely getting injured on this one. <laughs> Get anything? No. No? All good. So first up, we got uh, three books there. And whenever you're ready. Ooh, there we go. So it went through, went through the first uh, meaning of everything. Dude, you did a good shot there, man. You're on it today, brother. <laughs> He oh, oh, went through the second yeah. one. Did he go through the... Oh, he hit right there, I think. Oh, it's somewhere in here. Oh, Ooh, there it is. The bullet? That went through That went through a good bit, man. On page 256. And it went through two two full-size books, pretty much, and that big guy right in the middle, so... Same here. Aren't we never All right, so the 256. Ball. Yep. And then we'll set it up, and we'll shoot it with a 5.7, see what it does. Why did you say something between them? So now we got the five seven. Dude, am I am I pulling a John today? I don't know. Yeah. One. Where'd it go in here though? Uh, what do you mean? Wait, it went the same hole. No, yeah, right here. No, no, it literally right here went hole for. <laughs> and it ended down here. It went up here. I think we flipped that book around. Okay, well, so it went in there. Like it's sticking together, I can feel it back here. I one, think... one went in here. Yeah, one off. That second one I just kind of pulled. Yep, one off the side there. 
So what, 250-something that yours is going? 256. Oh, it's close. What? It 257. It went through the same hole. I think though. it disintegrated. It disintegrated? Oh, there it is. No. 421. No. 420, boy. <laughs> yes. 420. Yeah, look, it's still in better good. shape, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat, man. Still hot. <laughs> so, a little bit more penetration than a book test. Hey, right, we'll try some more. Right, you're good. Okay, now we're going to be comparing the 5.7 to my next everyday carry, the 500 Magnum, like a 4-inch barrel. I have no hearing protection on. Whenever you're ready, buddy. All right, so I think I think them are 325 grain. They're going fast, too. I forget how fast them are. They're, they're probably close to 1,700 feet a second. John was nice enough to spare this old gentleman oh, here. But you can tell she went cooking. Oh, there, oh, there, there it, is. it is. Yep. Look at that, though. So comparing the 5.7 to the 500 mag, I think the 500 mag is better. No, oh. really? Yeah, really. Oh, hot. Got seismic. 9 millimeter, 185 grain, and this is definitely not the 10th shot inside of this bullet. Definitely wasn't in the face. Dude, is that it, mate? No, Down right here. there. Yeah. So it went, it came out the back there. And it just kind of deviated down the bottom there. So yeah, we're having a problem with them rounds there. We'll try a different one. Hey, what comes again? So we now we got up the 10 millimeter. These are well, focus, focus, fuck it. 180 grain, 1250 feet a second. Out of the Smith and Wesson 1006, and this beautiful man here. Beautiful. Stunning. To the right, that's all right, man. Try yeah, to the left. left. Hit me. Well, no, you got him right in the face, almost. Yeah, just almost. Yep. <laughs> He's looking at it like really. <laughs> yeah, really? Hit me. Did it? Yeah. yeah. Empty casing. It flew right back. My, it flew right back. It's close. That's yeah, it was a good. That was a good shot, man. John is shooting way better than me today. So. That, okay, so it went through. Uh, it stop in there. Did it go through that one too? Right there. Huh? It's in here somewhere. Oh my god. So yeah, uh it went through all three books there. I love 10 millimeter, man. It's the energy and penetration stuff. Of course, you know, comparing the five seven to a ten, big difference. So we'll try some water jugs now. Okay. Dude, I think you shot right through the hole. I think I did. <laughs> Don't have to get that one handed. It's hard. So yeah, the 700 grain bullet, it went in there and dented the crap out of it. So 500 back is the way to go, I guess. Water test. We got the 5.7. And John's got his gun, so he's going to shoot right after me. All right, you ready, man? You good there? Yep. On hold, hold on. Okay. Sure. Yep. <laughs> so John's gonna try out the new trigger job I did on a Ruger American. Uh, we are pretty close, huh? Yeah. Wait, wait, back up, bud. I think these are 300 grain. Yep. Whenever you're ready, man. He's gonna see if he can hit that propane tank a point blank. It went through, I seen it get in the dirt. Oh, Okay, actually test here, John. Don't fail, don't fail. Did you get it? No. No, oh, okay. Yeah, try one handed here. Did I get it? There we go. <laughs> one handed, brother. It definitely should. Awesome kicking the baby. Okay, he's going to shoot about 69 feet here. This last one, huh? Two hands this water? Yes. Last one, I'm kicking the baby feet. 700 grain. 
Don't say that. Jesus. Well, you got the limb. <laughs>